So firstly, what I did is I selected all the meshes, went to File, Export, Export as an FBX, save it anywhere you will be able to get that file quickly, copy. Only selected, you just select those three. Try to follow what I do in this little bit. If uh, you do something differently and it works for you, by all means do that. Like I said, I don't really know Blender. This is just the way that I did it. As soon as you have that FBX file, you can go over to Mixamo, upload that file. Might take a minute or two or it might be quick. As soon as Mixamo is done, you can rig it, set up the points. After that, Mixamo is going to take your points and rig it itself. Might take another two minutes. We can try to bake the uh, textures for the uh, helmet. I don't really know what the uh, proper terms are, but uh, I would go in here. I'm pretty sure that's an add-on. Turn from EV to Cycles, CPU to... And this is all stuff that I followed from other YouTube videos, which I'll link down below as well. Only get the uh, first four. Take off Auto Detect and then Bake. And for this first one, the helmet, I didn't really have to go into the UV to make sure that the actual texture and color and stuff like that actually gets baked. I think I got lucky on this first one. But after after this one, I think you'll see me go into uh, UV editing and I think I unwrap them. I, I'm not really sure what I do. I just sort of worked for me at one point. But uh, once Mixamo is done rigging your character, you could pretty much pick any animation from the long list that Mixamo has. Once you choose your animation, you can change any settings, the stance, how fast they're going, anything like that. Once you do download it, make sure you download it without the skin. That's sort of how it's been working for me. You can add the skin or not if it works. Now we have the helmet textures. You have the base color, roughness, normal maps. So once you have the helmet textures, you can get the base color, the normal map, the roughness, the metallic. I don't think I have to explain this part to you guys. Um, if you know about materials and what to do with them, once you do have them, you know it's pretty plug and play. Uh, put them all together where they go. Like I told you guys, the helmet came out clean, it came out nice. Um, I didn't really have to do anything with the UV up in Blender. But for these other ones, I did. And um, I'll see if I can show that here. So like I said before, the chest, the arms, the forearms, the shoulder plates, I did have to go into the UV editing and I think I unwrapped them. I'm not really sure. I'm telling you guys, I don't really know Blender. Uh, I just did what I saw on YouTube, um, made sure the UV decal and then the regular UV were all uh, selected. And then from there you go to shading, follow along with what I do here. Basically the same thing that I did with the helmet. And then after that it should bake the uh, textures out for you. And if you have the same issue as I did where you bake the texture but it's all black and only showing like half decals or something like that i say just keep trying again i mean that's exactly what i just did here i think i'm gonna cut it once i put the whole video together it took me again like five more times to figure it out to get the uh, chest to um export correctly and once you're done with the chest you can pretty much do the same thing with uh, all the other meshes it's pretty rinse and repeat from here on out. All right, so uh, now back in Unreal Engine 5.3, I uh, try to make a different folder for each material. As you can see, the um, animated Mixamo rig one we have already has its materials separated out and named. So that's uh, good for us. 
and then once you do have those uh, textures you create a new material for each one of them and then pretty much make it the same way you would with any other material connect the normal to normal roughness to roughness color to color metallic to metallic basic stuff from here on out the rest of these it's gonna be pretty much the same thing so uh here with the forearm armor you see how it's all blacked out we can see that we can change that zero to a one and it should bring it back to its original place and then you do the same with the roughness and the normal maps and also with the metallic as well you just want everything to uh line up perfectly and then right there looks great and you should have to do the same thing for i believe the the skirt, the arms, the pants, and the uh, leg armor. You're going to have to change that 0 to a 1 for all those settings. At least for the ones that come out incorrectly. If anybody has found a simpler and better way to do this, please do it that way. Um, like I said, I got through to this by trial and error. And um, still came out pretty okay in my opinion. And then you can continue to do the same thing with the uh, pants, the skirt, and the leg armor. I believe the uh, shoulder pads should be okay and ready to go. The same with the uh, chest and the uh, helmet. Once you get another animation for your rigged model, you should probably get the same or another one. And then once you import it, make sure the skeleton is to the same skeleton as that model. And so once you look into the uh, animation section, it should show up there. Make sure it's to the correct skeleton. There's no others. And from there, just import and change nothing else. And it should be okay. After that, it should show up in your animation section. And from there, you're pretty much good to go to do as you please. I'm going to do some other little bit of advanced stuff here just to show how it could turn out in the uh, post render. I'll speed through this and then at the end I can show the results. Alright and that's pretty much it. That's how I got this Helldiver into Unreal Engine 5.3 from Blender. Materials and all included. You do have to get it rigged through uh, Mixamo. This is just the process that I found um, helpful. And uh, pretty much quick, I got it done in under an hour, hour 30 at best. I'm sure there is better ways that this could be done. Um, if you do know of those ways, please let other people know and uh, we could help each other out. Thank you.